I, I, I honestly, I honestly don't. I don't even, I don't even care anymore. I don't even care anymore. I, I, I honestly, I honestly don't. I, I'm sh fucking. I don't, I don't care anymore. Okay. <laughs> I'm just fucking getting it done with. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll make this a little longer tonight. If I can move my fucking mouse, actually. What is happening? Yeah, maybe I'll make it a little longer tonight. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Did I just save state? Oh, no. I hit tab. All right. There we go. I was wondering what was happening. All right. It would be cool to actually finish. So, you know what I realized? Is that... Oh, I think I went in here, right? Yeah, I did, and he doesn't have any... I realized we never ended up doing the side quests. What... My only issue is, like, what level are we? We're only, like, level 33. We're enough to do that one side quest, but some of those require you to be, like, level... Hey, theater guide lady. So this, this is max enemy level 30, max enemy level 70. I guess we could do this one. Party stats, percentage, and items will remain the same. XP and demon information gained in the battle will be- Oh, it will be retained in the main and game. So we can level up with this. You cannot save during quests. Quests contain material that can be found harmful or offensive. Select abandoned system. Attend the quest right away. Yeah. So we've actually already done all of this. God, I have such a fucking headache. I wonder if we can actually beat the level 70 one. Alright. So this is about as far as we got. If I remember, this guy has an app. It's implied he's made a rumor to, like, give himself the best class, and I think he has a persona or something. Or the other girl has a persona. There are personas involved. I don't remember the details, but I'm sure we'll keep up. Uh, 
All classrooms are holding class now. I'm out here because I'm being punished for causing a disruption. Can't get through here. Can't get through here. Can't get through here. God, I have the worst fucking headache. Can't get through here. Can't get through here. Disguise kit wore off. Oh, you think I should just keep popping these? I'm gonna keep popping them. There, I have no fucking patience. Alright. Can't get through here. 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 Uh, I think there was something up here. Was there a right turn? Yeah, there might have been. So I should probably actually go back up there and make sure. Oh, I missed this door. Can't get through here. Can't get through here. Can't get through here. Can't get through here. All right. So I think everything else is a path down, right? Everything except for that corner? Yeah, all right, so let's wrap back to that corner. Disguise kit wore off, I'll use another one. There, they added something in later Pokemon games where like repels, if they ran out and you had more repels, they're like, do you want to use another repel? And I'd be like, yes, please. I, you know what I find most interesting about the ideas about repels and disguise hits and things like that is it means that the developers of games are aware that their encounter rate is too fucking high and they need to add items to fix it. When they could just, you know, make a tolerable encounter rate. This is just straight up the Velvet Room. A salvia flower, it meant thinking of you. June may have wanted to be like Big Sis, like the one in our memories. This just, this just connects to, this doesn't have anything to do with anything, does it? June must have remembered about the Mass Circle game, too. Why else would he even named his organization that? If only we noticed sooner. Where did everything start going so wrong? No one wanted any of this. You can know you have nothing to do with the plot of this game. I'm the one who courted June Kun. My weakness for escaping reality, never making any firm resolutions, made him this way. But I won't let Jun Kun go through this any longer. I'll find him, and we'll bring back the real Jun Kun, the kind one we remember. What's up with you, dude? Hey, can I mutate a persona? I can mutate... I can mutate Kinshi Koncho into Shou Shen and Pixie into Robin Goodfellow. All useless. Don't want to do any of that. Later. This is going to culminate eventually in me just using one persona the entire game. Oh, yeah, I think I went out of my way not to add a rumor last time, but I should add the rumor this time. Okay, cool. Is that right? That's right. Okay, 60 rumors in the game so far. This guy's kit wore off. All right. I really wish I had that ability that 
made it so that's not- Oh, yeah, Yukino doesn't have a fucking new persona, does she? She's still using Marshall Taiping! What is the- I honestly should almost go back to the Velvet Room and see the absolute best persona I can shove on Yukino, just so she doesn't feel left out. I can't believe she doesn't get a persona. Whole lot of nothing. All right. I really have to credit Mr. Kai Kariyazaki. I mean, he was a poor teacher on his way to the chopping block. Okay. Okay. Well, we see what happened there. He very clearly rumored his way to the top. He, uh, no, no, no. He didn't rumor his way to the top. He joker gamed his way to the top. They're, they're two different bullshits. You know, if there's any message in Persona, it's don't play random games. Miss Torikiri used to be the teacher of Class 2-3, but she stepped in last year. Wonder if she feels bad about it. Alright, are we fully explored? Nope. Bottom right corner. Disguise kit wore off again. So, if the highest level enemy we encounter, let's get some more opinions from students outside that classroom. If the highest level enemy we encounter is 30, I should be able to prevent enemy fights completely. So she said outside the classroom. I talked to everyone I could see. And all the doors. So, the, I guess they mean upstairs? Saint Hermlin. It reminds me of the Pied Piper. Like, it sounds similar, I'm not sure if it's the same town. A lot of locked doors. I'm gonna have to buy, uh, disguise kits, eventually. Yeah, I'm not in advanced classes, so I'm going home now. There's some students still inside, though. So are there no- uh, okay, so this is only a three-floor building. This isn't the advanced classes, so classes end at noon today. Why? Mr. Kariyazaki remade all the students into geniuses ever since he became their homeroom teacher. This ambrosia must be amazing. Ambrosia? Oh, that site that class 2-3 uses? That site's only for students in that class. Outsiders can't access it, you know. It's only for students in 2-3, yeah? Isn't that super creepy? 
I'm very suspicious of this Ambrosia thing. Something tells me it's going to have a lot of secrets, but people who aren't in the glass can't access it. Why don't you talk to somebody in the glass? You're going to ask them to show it to us. I have a feeling they're not going to be very cooperative. How about the class president, Umiko Shiyama? Uh, on second thought, maybe not. Rose? Nope, she was all bye-bye and everything. Negotiate, I think we've already read this dialogue, actually. Negotiating with Mr. Kiriyazaki wouldn't work either, huh? He sounded really mad when I suggested it. All we have to do is fucking beat someone up and steal their phone. Hey, I found a way around it. What? We'll get Bofo to hack it for us. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. There's no other way. It's decided. All right, let me just... Maya takes out her cell phone. Um, you can't use cell phones in school. It's the rules. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Uh, she is not a student. <laughs> hey, wait. The teachers in Kirizaki's class were using cell phones. Also, we're not students here. That class is different. They get uh, such good grades that nobody says anything against them. Not even the principal. Again. Not a student. So if you're smart enough, you can get away with whatever you want. It's a cold world. Oh, don't be like that, Inkichi. Let's leave the school for a second so I can contact Bofo. This makes no sense, but alright, I'll go with it. Baofu. Whatever, I don't care. Can we get out the door in the front? Yeah, I guess? Why? To trigger this flag. Okay, got it. Hmm? My phone's not getting any service. Well, we haven't left the school yet, so I don't know why you're trying. Hey, Maya-san, never mind the phone. This whole school's turned into another world. God, I hate it when that happens. I've been looking all over for you. Close enough to what, he, what they wrote. Mr. Kariyazaki? Mr. Kariyazaki speaks to Maya while working on his cell phone. My students made a proposal to me. Miss Maya Amano. Y yes? To you, we grant the honor of joining our ranks. Maya-chan, look out! Huh? Ah! Ginkgo! You bastard! Oops, I suppose I missed. I was going to have you join us and write an article about how wonderful my classroom is. I mean, it is the ideal classroom. Anyone would be jealous of it. It is a class like none other, where students and teachers are connected by a tight pond. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. Mr. Kariyazaki, what is the meaning of this? Shut up, you stupid assholes. Mr. Kariyazaki looks at the phone in his hand. Well then, I'll make you a gift of one more parasite. Stay out of my way this time, okay? Parasite. Suddenly a girl's voice rings out in the room. Stop! Enough! Huh? Ah! Kariyazaki? Kariyazaki disappeared. Are you alright, Lisa? Thank you for saving me. Uh, what what are these emotions? So much sadness and grief and hatred overflowing. What did that bastard Kariyazaki do to Ginko? The young girl's voice can be heard again. That is a parasite. She has been overtaken by a parasite persona. A what? That voice. Who are you? We heard you before we tried leaving Mr. Kariyazaki's classroom, too. I am Alice. Alice. Mr. Kariyazaki's class is being controlled by Ambrosia. What? That classroom is an illusion created and maintained by Ambrosia. I pity them all. W what's a parasite persona? What's happening to me? The parasites are bad personas, as opposed to normal personas, which are good personas. who plant their own pain in their hosts. This world is a world of torment. 
that the parasites are making you see. The main body of the parasites should be somewhere in this school. If you can defeat it, you can end this world too. So Kariyazaki is controlling his students. Well, yes, obviously. Mr. Kariyazaki is just... Just? Ugh. Ugh. Ah, uh, ag. Lisa, Lisa, hold on. Ugh, I won't last much longer. Find the parasite. Defeat it. Hurry. Save everyone in that class. <laughs> I'm apparently not. My fucking head hurts so bad. I'm apparently not feeling actually trying. I don't want to hurt anyone anymore. Ah, wah. Alice's voice dies away. I'm okay. I can fight. Let's go. Whatever this parasite is, let's go kick its ass. All right, everyone. We're going to find this perso parasite persona and defeat it. I think I have to re-explore. I have to re-explore the whole school. Pain sears through your body. Fuck me, that hurt. Trish, how much? Oh, oh, so if you're at full health, Trish can't actually take your money. That's crazy. She's like, wait, you're fucking fully healed. Get the shit out of here. Hey, Velvet Room. Well, while we're at it, let's uh, summon a persona. Uh, let's see, Yukino. Money is no object, Yukino. Yukino, Empress, uh, no, we're not a high enough level for Kali. We are level, what level are we? Thirty-three is the limit we can summon. Uh, we could summon Nemesis. We could summon... Salubre. Spelled with a C. I'm used to it. We could summon Biako. Ooh, yeah, White Tiger. Wait, can everyone use Hermit? Every everyone has great resonance with Hermit. That should concern me. That says a lot about our group. Uh, we could summon Fjolir. Fjolir. Um. Julang Daijing. We could summon. They're all water personas. Alright, I'm thinking Biako. Biako is Hermit. I need 132 Hermit. I have 12. I don't actually know if I have enough blank cards to summon Biako then. What is that? 132. Are they all water? Like every single one she has great affinity with, is it all water? Not Nemesis. Yeah. Yeah, it's all water. Okay. Uh, alright. 
so I have 12, so 120 Hermit cards is what I would need. Uh, I would like 120. I don't have 120. I only have 105. Interesting. So I think that means I have to start grinding. But you only get free cards from your packs. So I have to form a pact. Ew. Alright. Well, we're not leaving here without Biako. I'm saying that. I'm totally willing to leave here without Biako. There's a demon! Ah! My emotions are reacting with the demon! You can hear Alice's voice. That demon is an illusion the parasite is showing you. It's the pain of the person who released the parasite in physical form. If you can keep defeating these illusions, you will find the parasite persona's main body. The demon speaks. Hey! Yeah, I'm working so hard. Why is everyone getting in my way? Why, why? Why? Why, why, why? Why, 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 Don't listen to the demon. Don't worry, we won't. Time for a heaping plateful of whoop-ass. The demon attacks. Can I negotiate with it? No! Well, then I guess it gets to fucking die, then. Let's see, we have Earth. Actually, hang on. Fusion spells. Towering Inferno, Hydro Boost, Boulder Smash. Oh my god, this theme is fucking amazing! No, everything seems to be a one enemy target. Alright. Earth damage. Water damage. Fire damage. An actual attack. Anahama. Cool. This theme is amazing. Oh my god. So long. Oh, he's dead. Oh. Oh god. Oh my god. You just evaporated. Light surrounds the party. Their bodies rise into the air. I think I've been teleported. Ow! Shit! Yeah, that's fine. Ow! Shit! Alright, we have a Minotaur. This guy is snappish and foolish. Wait, hang on. 
We've met him before. Uh, Happy Maya 2, Eager Michelle 2. I don't think we've ever clicked this. I'm worried about you. If something's bothering you, feel free to tell me. I will. Mean, someone worried about me? First time, he moved to tears. I love how one of her options is discuss parents. If you got any worries, just tell Sister Maya. A oh, woo, you human, me demon, but we help each other. Hey now. It's not healthy to bottle up your emotions. If you got a problem, Sister Mile will listen. Me like you. Me not supposed to make pact with you. Yeah, but me no care. You want pact? Yeah, I want pact. You full of pacts. Me no can do. You cancel one, then you make me. My boy flag. My boy flag. Oh, now you got me friends. Now I can't wait to see you again. Can't wait to see you again either, buddy. Can't wait. Mostly because I need those sweet, sweet free cards. Ow! Is there a way to tell which door violently kills me? Or is it just whenever the game fucking feels like it? Oh, a demon. Again, not actually my goal. Hey! Yeah, we promised we work hard together. Why'd you leave me behind? Why, why? Why? Why, 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 Now, apparently his death will be quick. All right, we're gonna open this up with fight. And then I wanna set turn order. We are gonna open with... God, this fucking theme, dude. Oh my God. Hama. Magna. And then I'm feeling Aqua. Fire. Sword. Let it go. Nice. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. Light surrounds the party. Their bodies rise into the air. I am still on floor three. Hey! It's Maho Shuvus! They like Michelle Three. Baby life might suck right now, but don't give up. You know what they say, crap a dime. No, wait. Ah, Maho Shivu likes talking about life. Hey, demon, just because you're from hell doesn't mean you have to be an asshole. Be true to yourself. Ah, Maho Shivu likes talking about this stuff, but I think I'm an angel or something. It's a beautiful life. Don't you ever lose that smile, baby. Humans are funny. Y'all want to be your friend. Can't just run off to you. Well, let's make a pact. You want to make a pact with Moe Shuvu? Hey, you got too many pacts. Get rid of someone. Let's get rid of Wraith. Fuck Wraith. Yeah, you got a friend in Maho Shuvu. Cool, we got a friend in Maho Shuvu. Mm. 
Why? I feel like this is a lazy way to create difficulty. It's just a door that hurts you. Honestly, it's probably um, an enemy you have to fight later that's inside of there. Oh shit, it's Shax. We haven't talked to Shax in a while. Let's talk to Shax. Let's see, Shax is Michelle 3. Hey, demon. What the fuck? I'm Shax. It's a beautiful life. All right, I'll make a pack with Shax. Let's get rid of Kabada Habada. Cool. That's three packs. Shax, Minotaur, and Mahu Shuva or whatever. Well, shit. I want to test something. Nope. Cool. The door can't kill me. Hey, it's Mao Shuva. I just realized the name is probably Mao. Like, like demon. Sure, I'll teach you, Mao. I am listening to you, Mao. Mao isn't stupid. I know you're not stupid, Mao. Mao! Fuck you, Mao! God damn it! Well, there went my fucking pact with Mao. Motherfucker. What am I fighting? Whatever. That looks like a firebird. It wasn't. Sorry. Great. I win. Oh, a room. Hey. Hey, it's Mao Shuva. This fucking bitch. Hey. I can't trust anyone, right? You're all talking about me behind my back, right? Right, 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 right. Mao Shuva. This feels like a match that that everything led up to. Mostly because it just dissolved our pact. Yeah. 
Fuck you. Hey, Michelle leveled. Good for you, Michelle. What? My question is, what does my persona increase when I level? Agility. Everything increases agility. Okay, cool. Ow. I should heal now. I'm gonna start waiting to get to one to heal. Oh, there's fucking Mao Shuva again. Hey, bitch. Again. No. You gotta shut that conversation down. Hell yeah. Eight Temperance cards, 13 free tarot. That puts me at uh, 18. One more and I can get Biako. Hey, it's Nekamata. Hey, communication is a trick, right? It's just a way for hypocrites to trick people. Right, right, right. Right, 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 right. Hey, good for you, Vulcanus. And I teleport. This is honestly a little bit of a repetitive side quest. Hey, stairs. Oh, I can only go downstairs. Hey, stairs I have to go down. Look at that. Second floor. Suck it, bitch. Hey, birds. I don't have packs with these. Oh wow, you actually landed a Hama. That's cool. Oh, this ain't 
over. Is that fucking... Shit, that's Faust, isn't it? If I remember, Faust is immune to damage. I don't remember. Who's immune to damage? Oh, uh, 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 not Faust. Um... Rasputin? Rasputin, I think, is immune to damage. Oh, okay. What's up? Hey! Yeah, I love you so much. Why don't you love me back? Why, 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 It's like they're just trying to buy time. You imagine an opening Hama kill? You ain't worth my time. Like a turn one Hama. I should make sure something's right. Testing? I should make sure something's right. Okay, I just want to make sure I wasn't... I just had a weird feeling my voice was going to be modulating. Good to see I wasn't right. Um, door. Ooh, okay. Hey, Minotaur! M Michelle Chill. Go, Michelle. Intimidate the Minotaur. I'm as graceful as a swan. Why humans only have hair on head? Uh, we do have hair in other places. Me. Okay, with this, I'll have enough uh, tarot cards to make Biako. Fifteen, I'll take them. All right, Yukino, we're going to get you an upgraded persona soon, too. Granted, I had to fucking make one. Hey, Japanese people are assholes. I'm not like you. Don't treat me like I am. I wouldn't care if you all died. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. I think I added one too many. But who who even cares anymore? I can still do this. Fuck off, fish monster. Why is the fish monster weak to water? <sighs> I want to feel like I'm making progress. I 
Oh shit, it's Malchova. Cool. No. We killed Hitler already? We actually have not killed Hitler. No. Also welcome, Pache. We're, uh, probably on the way to kill Hitler, though. Hitler has arrived in the city. God damn it, that hurts. He, he showed up with his airplane mechs. Which... Which, when I started the game, is not a sentence I thought I would be saying. Hey, it's Jack Frost. Hey, be nice to me. Do everything for me. I won't give you anything in return, but I want everything from you. Please, 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 please. I think I definitely said too many that time, but nobody cares. How you been, Pache? Jesus, he just evaporates. Hey, I am on, uh, oh, this isn't the first floor? Could be better, but well, that's good to hear. How was your uh, holidays? Hey, it's Shax. My boy Shax. It was nice. Uh, pretty good New Year's. Uh, Christmas wasn't great, but pretty good New Year's. I, uh, I got a Steam gift card, which was cool. Uh, I got Code Vein. Haven't gotten much further than the tutorial, though. Well, I'm journey. Oh, okay. Whoa. Hey, there's something there. There's a vase of flowers on the ground. It's a daffodil. I wonder why these were put here. I got shirts mostly. I also got a shirt, but my shirt's made of cotton, so it feels super good. Is is the parasite persona here? Ah, uh, I'm so sad. So much hate. So much regret. I'm phoning in the voice acting tonight. Lisa, hold on. I'm so sad. I'm so angry. I'm so frustrated. No one understands me. Ah, ah, ha, 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 ha. The, that's the parasite persona? You, ugh. How dare you make me suffer like this? I'm gonna kick your ass. All right, Ginkgo, let's sing a requiem for this bastard. Again, what if we just get a round one Hama? Nope. <laughs> on, 
We are at, uh, by the way, 60 rumors in this game. Bad luck running into me. If you can believe that. Well, that was easy. You're not so lucky this time, Mr. Parasite. Lisa, how do you feel? Mmm. Huh? I... I think I'm... Lim... Better. I don't... I don't even know what that says. Hoisamaru. Alice's voice returns. I'm glad. It seems you were... De you defeated the parasite. I will open the exit. Go, before the exit closes. Hurry. Ah! Alice's voice dies away. I will not let anyone escape from my classroom. And cut. Good job. Let me add your points to your account. I'll be waiting for your return. Oh, shit. That was it, huh? All right. Well, I guess it's time to go to the Velvet Room. Haven't been there in um, a while. Uh, Velvet Room. Mad Painter, give me 120 Hermits. Igor. I need to summon Biako. What the fuck? Why can't I summon Biako? You don't have enough tarot cards. But I had 12 tarot cards. If I make 120 tarot cards, and I have... Where the fuck did my 12 tarot cards go, then? Alright, Igor. Give me... My goddamn tiger. Ooh, okay, I gotta add abilities to it. What do I add to it? Sakukaja, Torkaja, Balzac, Pulpina, Poisma, Dorama, Koltamai, Meteorama. Ooh. Meteorama would be a fucking fire ass ad. Yeah. Incense card. V. All. Ooh, all. Yeah. That'd be a good one. Take it. Fuck yeah, Biako would be Aquas, Feral, Ice Breath, Sukukuja, Malquinus, Water Spout, and Meteorama. Ooh, I like it. I like it. All right. Igor, if you uh, drop the fucking card, oh boy. Oh boy. Summoning an ultimate persona here. up? I'm Biako. Yeah, one who protects the western heavens is one of the four holy beasts. I'll be with you. What's going on, dog? I get a long right shit with a fucking turtle. Get out of here, shacks. All right, Yuki. There you go, girl. Hit 
Heal me. Oh, actually, while I'm here, I should go to Satomi Delashi, shouldn't I? Stock up on some beads. Give me... Magazines? Oh, I- oh, I never used my magazines! Oh, I should go do that. Did I get a win? No. Damn it. You know what? You know what? One of these days I'm gonna win the sweepstakes and it's gonna be so good. Go back to Satomi Tadashi, buy 99 more magazines, and then we're gonna swing back. And then we're gonna see how far we can get with the side quests. playing right now. School teacher we already did. School teacher again and then the persona thief. Parasite personas, mysterious voices and strange drama continues in the second installment of School of the Heart. Fuck me. Take my money. Huh? Where is this? I think this is St. Hermlin's Courtyard. Yay! We're back from the Nether Realm. Maya-san, you should contact Baofu right away. Maya pulls out her cell phone and calls Baofu. And I'm done. Hooray! Baofu says we'll do it. Let's wait for him to call back. But man, you sure had it rough in the Nether Realm, Ginkgo. I know, they were so rude. I should have been more violent with them. Grumble, grumble. Huh? Daffodils again? Man, this is ridiculous! Someone's coming. A man in his late 40s approaches. Who the hell are you? You're not part of this school, are ya? My name's Minato. I'm a teacher at this here school. What are you people doing here? Uh, we're, uh... Might explain the interview to Minato. You're with the press? Hm, <laughs> ridiculous. If you have time to stick your nose in other people's business while you work on improving yourself instead... You in the blue. Why the hell is your hair blue, too? Take the effort you're spending on your looks and put it into your studies. Y y yes sir S sorry sir Gah, Why do I apologize? What's up with this old guy? Young people these days, they must be dealt with using a firm hand. Minato walks away. Wow. I don't know what just happened, but I think we just got a stern talking to. Hey, there's some daffodils here. 
They usually bloom in the spring. How rare it is to find them in this season. Does it seem like they were put there intentionally? I wonder if there was some accident or something. Okay, okay, no horror stories about schools. I've already got goosebumps. You can hear students coming closer. I hate cleaning up the courtyard. It's such a pain. School's already out for the day, stupid Minato. I wonder if there'll be more flowers there again. It's so spooky. Looks like we're about to have some company. Why don't we ask them the questions while we're waiting for Baofu to get it back to us? Why? The only a bunch of Addisees and flowers is here. Minato, everybody hates that guy. He thinks that schools uh, of the 21st century should be using the Spartan-style educational system. Masabuchan, I mean Miss Torakiri, used to be a student of Minato. She seems pretty annoyed that he's always looking out for her. The daffodils in the courtyard are an offering to spring break Alice. What, Alice? Alice, that's the same name as the girl in the nether realm we were talking about. Alice is a kind of urban legend around our school. Story goes that long ago, this girl committed suicide right here in this courtyard during spring break. Yeah, she did it because she was always being bullied at school, and the bullying would just start up again when break ended. She killed her, so she killed herself and escaped into a world where spring break ever ends. That's why we call her spring break Alice. And you said the daffodils are offerings to her? Yeah, that's the rumor. That's a rumor! Sixty-one. Nobody knows who puts them there, but it's been happening for a long time. Spring break Alice and daffodils. I wonder if this Alice who helped us in the nether realm was the same girl who committed suicide so long ago. That voice sounded like it was in so much pain. Hey, your cell phone's going off, my son. Hey, it's a text from Baofu. Let's see. Uh-huh, uh-huh, no way. What's the matter? He says there's no website called Ambrosia. What's that supposed to mean? Baofu said that he checked the internet and St. Hermland's local network very, very carefully. The entire internet. I know it's 1999, but he checked the entire internet. But there's no profile-based uh, social site called Ambrosia at all. On the entire internet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Then what the hell were those guys doing on their phones? Oh, yeah, there goes our plan. Yeah. I mean, it'd be bad if we had to go back to 2-3 to investigate and got a parasite thrown at us again. Hmm, I'm stumped. Hey, why don't we ask Rose? She looked like she knew some stuff. She wasn't even using a cell phone. Maybe she'll help us. How do you know she's not on the same side as Kirizaki? If you put it that way, everyone's suspicious one way or another. Nope, 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 that's not at all how- okay. <laughs> Maya's like, yeah, sure, yeah. Either way, what we need right now is information, right? That'll be important in figuring out what to do next. It might not be a bad idea to ask Rose some questions, like Kinkichi said. She seemed like she had some idea what was going on, and though I can't prove it, I don't think she's a bad girl either. Well, school's already over. I hope she's still around. All right, let's go look for her. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Daffodils in the courtyard are offering. Nobody keeps putting them there. Uh, okay. Now, what would be great is if the map is still... It isn't. You're looking for someone? Well, school's over, but uh, if they're in a sports club, they're probably in the gym. Shit's locked. Shit's locked. Shit's locked. Alright, well, if I were in the gym... It was actually Mr. Minato who stopped Miss Torkiri from being the homeroom teacher at 2-3. She seemed down about it. Oh, maybe there's something wrong with the classroom and not the teacher. Now that would be a plot twist. Like, Alice is the villain. Hey, the Velvet Room. Nobody cares.
Alice committed suicide over 10 years ago, but the only rumor started going around last year. At least that's what my senpai told me. Ooh, is Alice a rumor? That's the question. Like, created by a rumor, I mean. Let's try class 2 3. Miss Dorikiri is kind of gloomy. It must be because of what happened to her sister. Oh shit, is her sister Alice? Yeah, Rose? Who? She's the same year as me. Yeah, I never heard of her. Shit's locked. Hmm, damn. If I was a quest important NPC, where would I be? The only Rose I know is the class pet of Senpai from 12 years ago. It's society's fault that I can't get a job. I'll try all I want, but nothing will ha uh, happen. I was born in the wrong era. Dude, you're like five. Alice, ghost rumors are so yesterday. Now websites run by the spirits of the dead are all hot news. Okay, yeah, sure, yeah. I actually kind of like Mr. Minato. He's the only teacher with the balls to really yell at a student for acting up. If I click on every door, eventually I'll find her. That should be the entire building. Yep, it is. All right, downstairs. Not a lot of exploration on floor two, apparently. Home mech room. Doors locked. Doors locked. Doors locked. It's gotta be one of these fucking rooms. <laughs> hmm. So she's gotta be on floor one then. Because I've already been all the way through this floor. I don't like to get too close to Minato. His educational methods are too dated. It's important for a teacher to be close to his students. Locked. <sighs> hmm. Locked, 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 locked. Okay, that's weird. I've been to every fucking building. Except for this one. Except for the... It was... Okay, it was literally the last possible one. Great. Ooh, 
Like, it wasn't... You know the expression, it's always the last place you look? Obviously, you know, it's always the last place you look, because otherwise... Because, of, because otherwise you would have stopped looking, you know? So that saying doesn't really make a lot of sense. But in this case, it was the last possible place I could have checked. There's a rumor that there's a ghost hunting bo uh, haunting the boxing club's room next door. They say people can hear strange noises even when nobody's there. That's a rumor! Oh, it didn't update. What the fuck? Why didn't it update? Why didn't it update? Rumor plus. There we go. I guess it just didn't work or something. That was weird. Hey, Rose. Hey, what are you guys still doing here? Li Hao, hello. So you're in the boxing club, huh? I think we'll get along awesome. Ciao, Rose. We're continuing our investigation of Miss... Oh my god, Rose is a ghost. Mr. Kariyazaki, and we were wondering if you could help us. Is there anything you could tell us about Ambrosia? Maybe everyone in class is using Ambrosia to do something bad? I warned you not to get involved, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're involved, whether we wanted it or not. Kariyazaki unleashed some parasite persona on us, telling us to join his class. Give me a break. A parasite persona? You once said that Mr. Kariyazaki's class was being ruled by a deep sadness. Yeah, and stuff about giving her a complete death. <laughs> What's up with that? I just wanted to... Akari. Rose is Miss Torikiri's dead sister! That's my guess. Akari? Who's Akari? She, well, she's the one who everyone calls Alice. She killed herself. You know about Alice? Please tell us. What's going on with that classroom? Hmm... Hmm. Please just go home. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is something I have to deal with myself. If you're not gonna leave, then I will. Rose ones away. Wait, wait! This will be really inconvenient to find you again! Rose and Umiko Shiyama are standing in front of the room. Shiyama-san, why? It turned into the nether realm. Why won't you be joining? Why won't you join us? Mr. Karizaki is the best teacher, and the students are all great friends. It's a wonderful class to be in. Umiko Shiyama looks down at her cell phone in her hand. Laughter. Okay, that's not right. Check out her eyes. Alice's voice can be heard. Why? Why can't you let me rest? That voice! It's Akari! Let's make 2-3 full of fun. We can do it if you guys join. Right, guys? Oh, no. Watch out! Oh, God! What? Really? Okay, uh, 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 who gives a shit? Shiyama's just gone. It was too late. Hi, Mei. Is Inkichi infected with a parasite this time? What? What is this? A heavy grieve like lead swirling around inside me. I can't... I can't stop crying. I'm so sad and full of hatred and frustration. And super hatred. I won't last much longer. I'm being pushed down by me. Ugh. Wurg. Akari. Hang on, Akari. Hurry. The parasite. Hurry. Akari, don't worry. I'm not gonna let you suffer all by yourself. I'll suffer with you. Please, let's be in peace together. Alice's voice can no longer be heard. Wait, Akari! Akari! Rose, tell me. What's going on in that classroom? Does Akari have anything to do with it? 
I told you not to get involved. This is my mission. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Rose. <laughs> Damn. Maya's actually mad. Tell me. Uh, uh, uh all, all right. D don't, don't be angry. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Akari's full name is Akari Turikiri. Called it. She was Masubu Turikiri's little sister. She's Miss Turikiri's sister. Then the girl who committed suicide is. She was a kind person. So kind that she volunteered to look after the school pets. Most students hate having to do that. But those stupid humans picked up. Rose is the ghost of the fucking hamster? They made fun of her after she died. But I killed Akari. I have to redeem myself. What? What? I wanted you to leave me alone now. I have to go do my duty. It's the only thing I can do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait. Sheesh. Rose is really a handful, man. Mm hmm, mm hmm. You're all right, right? Let's go after her. Akechi, are you okay? My emotions got all cut up in themselves. But other than that, I'm okay. I think I can keep my cool and I can keep moving. Thanks. When we're done, I'll buy you all the ramen you want. Huh. You're going to regret making that promise when your wallet's empty. Okay. Oh god, I hope I don't have to search an even bigger area. Like, I have to search everything all over again, but now it's bigger. That would suck ass. <sighs> okay, no, I, I think they just completely changed the gym area. Okay. That's actually better. Weirdo not being attacked. I didn't even use a disguise kit. What is happening? There isn't anything inside? Okay. Emptiness. Medicine. Okay, I see where you're going with this game. Nothing. Okay, I'm interested. You have my attention. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on you, loser. I have infinite health. I don't. I don't have infinite health. I don't know why I said that. Oh, that wasn't... Oh, that was bad. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. So... Note to self. Uh, you can't just fuck around and have fun with this area. Mm 
No problem. Fuck me. I think I realized why there's no monsters here. It's because they were well aware that it would be absolutely unbearable. Like, imagine having to fight during this. Whatever, dude. Okay. I see the point you're making. Ha, loser. I'm glad you're safe, Rose. Hey, Rose, won't you come with us? I think it'd be a lot safer. I'm a good runner. I'll be okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you give us some details about what you were talking about? What's going on in that classroom? They're using Akari spirit. What do you mean using? The energy of Akari's rage from when she committed suicide is being used to turn class 2-3 into the ideal classroom. Ambrosia is Akari. The website is a ghost. That classroom, everything in it is fake. Right down to Kariyazaki and the students. What? <laughs> the power of a Kari spirit to change everyone's perspective disappears. An illusion? So everyone in the classroom is using Ambrosia to talk to Akari's ghost? Eh, well, more or less. So that persona residence we felt, it wasn't an actual persona uses. Uh, it wasn't any actual persona uses in the class. It was actually Akari's ghost. But Akari didn't do anything wrong. It was all, all... Rouse, who are you? I'm a pet hamster. I'm sorry. I really need to go. This is my duty. I don't want to drag anyone else into it. So, sorry. Rose runs away. Rose. The f fuck is happening in this game? Even the side quests are fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Oh, monsters. Alright, let's try and open up with a fusion spell. Hydro boot. So we can do either Hydro or Towering Inferno. That's lame. Let's do Hama. Okay, we can do Low Havoc or we can try Sleep on everyone. Uh, honestly, I'm going to say Feral Claws are going to be better. Um, Magarna. Ice Blade, low sword ice damage to one enemy. Or Aquess. 
I'm gonna do a quest. Tatsia can do my Petra. I'm just gonna keep going with a Gelio. And Yuki can also do a quest. Alright, let's try setting up my turn order. Um, hmm. I'm gonna try Aqua, Earth, Aqua, Fire, Havoc. Yes! Bane Splash, bitch! I knew it! Looks like you're all top. Fuck yeah! Yeah! Two ranks, huh? Yeah! Mutation, I'll take it. Interesting, okay. Do you want my autograph? All right, so the question is, what exactly does Bane Splash do? All enemies, yes. I knew it. Nope, that was it. A Gello and Feral Claw. I could just feel Water Water Earth as a combo. Good job, Lisa. Oh god, I see a teleporter. Oh, this is gonna be an issue, isn't it? Okay, I got a Bufu card. That's not bad. Hmm. Yeah. 
So the only issue is I don't know where I'm going. Oh god, is that where it's booting? Shit, that's Rasputin. God fucking damn it. What is that? How, how? Well, whatever, I'm gonna melt it. Whoops. Sorry. Okay, I went in a giant fucking circle. So, I wonder if there's anything in the middle of these. So, okay, so I think what's going on is you have to find the correct teleporter. I think you have to find the correct teleporter to find Rose. Nope. Oh, I foresee this being a real pain in my ass. God, Rasputin is the fucking worst. You can't hit- you can't fucking hit him, and then he just kills you in one hit.
I think I'm gonna start taking disguise kits. You want some? Let's see, Biako, rank four. Does this show what max rank is? Or how much experience is needed? Good for you, Biako. You're slowly becoming stronger. I mean, it is roughly the same level as everyone else's ultimate personas. Mm, oh, this is the gym area. So I accidentally went in a huge loop. But that's actually kind of useful, because then I can... Find the correct path to the outdoors. Oh, shit! Alright. All in agility. Alright, we're back out here. The question is, where is Rose? I was Rose, where would I be? Well, actually, the benefit of being able to look at the map... I was gonna say the benefit of being able to look at the map is that we could see which portals we've already gone to. But now we've been teleported to a different part of the map, so I don't fucking know. This actually might be a good thing. Oh my god, okay. Three more fights. Ready or not, here I go. No, I don't care, Parika. Close your eyes. We're about to loop. We looped. Okay. That's, if anything, beneficial. Because that helps me get my bearings. Oh, two more. Oh, shit, is that flag? 
Oh no, it's Principality. Fuck out of here, not Flag. One more. Okay, no more. What the fuck? Oh, it's fucking Resputin. Okay, that's one. Probably another. Fuck me. It's another goddamn Rasputin, isn't it? Do you want my autograph? Wait. Yup. Murray again. Yeah, use Malicus. Oh, shit. Sure, why not? Bad luck running into me. The most important part about this is to make sure I don't I only touch each teleportation circle once. That way I know which ones are good and which ones are bad. Sorry about that. 
Hmm. Okay. This guy's kit's gone. Definitely gonna put that back on so I don't have to deal with this. Nice. You know what? I don't even care. Uh, let's see. Let's try that one over to the right. Nope, just warps me back here. Hmm, none of these. What is this door? Maybe it's this door. No, I don't care, Gandaharva. Close your eyes. No. This is entirely new area. Maybe the teleporter's not the solution and just walking through the door. No, I've been here before. Is this a real door, though? Yep, this just leads to here. Okay. Let's try that teleporter, then. Now, this guy's kit should be preventing anything from showing up, so it's weird that I'm still getting fights. Nothing should be over my level, because the max level it says is level 30, and we're like level 34. So either the game is lying to me, or it doesn't prevent the encounters, it just lowers them. It definitely feels like there's a lower encounter rate, but it does seem like there's an obnoxious amount of counters even still. Looks like you're all tough. Like, Here's a general rule of thumb, you know? If you're not in a long hallway that's intentionally a long hallway, you should be able to get from the end of one hallway to another hallway. Like from like from the start of the hallway to the end of the hallway, you should really only be having like one encounter. This game, on the other hand, a short hallway, you'll end up with like seven fights. Fine. Bring it on. 
Maybe maybe two fights for a medium hallway. But you really shouldn't be having too many medium hallways anyway. Alright, this has to be it. I mean, this is a different area, at least. But what bothers me is, despite being a different area, it doesn't... It seems like I've been here before, so I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going. I definitely feel like I'm wandering aimlessly. Oh good, we learned Meteorama. Like, I don't have any evidence to support that... Is that a fucking staircase? Oh, I don't like that that's a staircase. Another general rule of thumb for game creation is if a player walks into an area and dreads having to play that area, you probably fucked up that area. This is a new area, so I do feel like somewhere around here is probably Rose. I just don't know where. No, but I already explored all of this. Yeah, I already explored all that. Oh god, she's not actually here, is she? This is just a random fucking floor. Okay, uh, over here and to the left is an area I haven't been to before. That teleporter didn't take me to the ending. Oh, this is its own self-contained area. Oh, fuck me. God damn this place. Have I been everywhere here? We gotta go all Sherlock Holmes on this shit. Make sure I've actually selected every option. Okay, I have selected every option. Which means that the only solution is through this door. Huh. 
Have I selected every option here? probably attaches there. But we should double check. Okay, that does attach there. That means that there's only one place left. Let's be very clear. Okay. All right, so this is a new area, right? Let's just try walking out of the fucking building. Walking out of the building didn't work, but now we know. This fucking Trish spring? Hey Trish, how much do you want? Five, only 5,000? Okay. What's up with you? Okay, cool, 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 I'm paralyzed. Oh, I guess you end your paralysis. All right, velvet room, I'll take it. Oh, good, good. The sadness, the hatred, it's getting stronger. The parasite, it's past here. Let's, let's kick its ass. Oh, that's... A daffodil is lying on the ground. Rose is fighting a parasite persona in front of it. Arga, ga my heart's about to burst. I'm so sad, so filled with hatred and regret. I'm so sad, I'm so angry, I'm so filled with remorse. Why doesn't anyone understand? He 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 he! You stupid idiot, dummy moron! How dare you hurt a car? Mhm mm mhm. Mm whoa whoa whoa! Ah! What it, did you see? Sony announced the PS5 logo. No, I didn't. What is with these emotions? Damn it! Wait for me, Rose. I'm going to save you. Akechi's really pushing himself, but that kind of spirit is awesome. He 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 he. Let's go, everyone. You picking a fight? There better not be another fucking round. It's like the PS4 logo, but with a five. Oh, I don't even remember the PS4 logo. And I own a PS4. PS... I'm just gonna look up logo. Logo. What's the logo? What do we got? Oh. <laughs> In Gadget says the PS5 logo looks exactly as you would expect it to. Boy, boy, does it not. Like, like, does it. Looks like you're all top. That exactly sums it up. That is exactly what I would have expected the PS5 logo to look like. 
Intel also announced they have basically nothing. Yeah, I'm glad they announced that, otherwise I would have thought they had something. Uh, huh? Whoa. Ha, huh. hello my friends. The amazing Michelle has made a full recovery and is back in the spotlight. Thank you for your thunderous applause. I think I liked him better when he was possessed. Alice's voice rings out. It seems you defeated the parasite persona. I opened the exit. Go, leave before it closes. Akari, listen. I'm going to go to that classroom to set things straight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll get rid of the sadness that you're feeling. I'll give you a complete death so you'll be able to rest in peace. I'm not going to let you be hurt any longer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey. Rose disappears in the light. No, Rose, you can't. It's too dangerous. Please, stop her. You have to stop Rose. Or else, I'll kill her. Their keynote was like data, uh... I would say data processing AI, Red Cross using AI, Adobe using AI was like the only thing worth the day. More specifically, the guy doing the presentation for Adobe. Alice, you're a Kari Torikiri, aren't you? Are you the one hurting everyone in 2-3? Why? My, my other half is putting everyone in pain. What do you mean your other half? My hatred towards this school. It should have been smaller. I should have been able to control it. I was going to hold it back so I could rest forever. But someone made it grow larger, and then it took on a life of its own. It grew. Ugh, oh, gah, 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 It's here. The other half. It'll swallow me again, again, again. Hurry, I can't keep the exit open much longer. This nether realm. It's a world of my grief. The parasite personas are fragments of my hatred that grew. Ugh, oh, ga Please hurry. Before my other half destroys Rose and everyone else in that classroom. Hurry. Akari's voice fades away. Akari sounds like she's in a lot of pain. We have to get to 2 3 right away. Light surrounds the party. Then we fucking teleport. Okay, I didn't expect that. What this is, in this is interesting. First off. This shows that not only do ghosts exist, but ghosts can have personas. And what this also shows is that a person can have more than one persona. Which is... Interesting. The, ga the game is adding to the persona lore. It felt like a big gust of wind just blew towards the classroom. Man, I want an eternal spring break, too. It's not... <laughs> this is the part three of Persona. It just keeps adding abilities to Personas, and then they forget about them in the later games. <laughs> Man, I want an eternal spring break, too. It's not like I've got, uh, I've got anything going for me in my future. Teddy and Mona have Personas, and the protagonist in 3, 4, and 5 have multiple Personas. Yeah, but she has multiple Personas at the same time. And Teddy and Mona aren't ghosts. Minato's a jerk. You can't just berate people into doing better. That's so old-fashioned. You've got to encourage them instead. That's the modern way. That is true, though. We do know that a persona can have a persona. I think. No, we know a shadow can have a persona. And we know shadows and personas are virtually the same thing. Which leads you to the implication that a persona can have a persona. <laughs> but that ghost is probably a rumor. Oh, the ghost is a rumor. That is true. Is someone throwing a party on the second floor? Sounds pretty rowdy over there. But most of what rumors create are uh, demons. So it's interesting that it's capable of creating a persona user. Rumors are probably shadows given form or purpose. Mr. Minato doesn't like the daffodils in the courtyard. Everybody deals with things in their own way. 
Well, in this game, you don't fight shadows. You fight demons. But I think they're relatively the same thing, because demons are created from the collective unconscious. Like, they're created from the collective unconscious, where shadows, I believe, arise from it. But it's virtually the same concept. So saying, but saying rumors are probably like shadows or demons, because we know we know rumors can create demons. So if we were to try and explain the nonsense that this game is, uh, then you're probably onto something. Which is, you could say that the rumors are placing. Uh, granted, they're working on a scale they shouldn't be able to work on. But the rumors themselves are affecting the collective unconscious, and that's what's giving birth to the demons and the, um, to to the demons. Would be my guess. And from that way, you can see that since we know that shadows ha uh, have the ability to have personas, then creating Alice from a rumor allows her to have personas. Um, but even so, we've still never seen anyone have, at least to my knowledge, multiple personas at the same time. Most of the boxing club members don't even uh, show up, so they don't do a whole lot in here. Unless I'm forgetting someone, but I can't think of anyone else who's had multiple personas at the ex at once. Unless you count a character's shadow having a separate persona from themselves. If only I could hit bullseyes with my bow as often as I hit bullseyes with the girls. I'm just no good at archery. Which you probably could. So if we include... So... If the girl herself is a demon created from the collective unconscious, and her other half is a shadow created from her, we know that shadows are capable of having their own personas. Even though it doesn't make sense, we know they can. They kept a pig in here at twelve uh, at school twelve years ago. Hair was really fast. Wherever it took care of it, must have gotten a lot of exercise. Oh, Rose was a pig apparently. So you could say that. <laughs> I'm trying to make this make sense. Uh, uh, that uh, uh, the the one with the with the personas is uh, Akari's shadow. I was in the sumo club, but now I'm a dancer, honestly. It was uh, uh, underwater that made me switch. Because we know that Igus is capable of having a persona, and Metis is capable of having a persona. And Metis is the shadow of Igus. And so, Metis in a, uh, I guess in a way, was capable of manifesting two personas at the same time. Hey, get out of here! Do I go around interrupting you from being jerks? And we know that... God, this is fucking... I'm trying to explain... Trying to figure out how personas work is really confusing. <laughs> but we know that personas manifest different aspects of, of a person. So... If... If, if Akari is capable of splitting her shadow... Because we have to acknowledge that despite being loosely based off of uh, Jungian psychology, uh, what a shadow is in Persona is not the exact same thing it is as far as psychological terms go. Um, because we know that Personas and shadows are not completely interchangeable. A Persona is more of a mastered form of a shadow. But we know that people can have multiple shadows or multiple personas, which implies that an in persona manifests a different part of a person's personality. So, as far as a shadow goes, you could have at least multiple portions of your personality, and each one of them would in turn probably have its own persona.
And so if multiple pers- If multiple versions of her personality, like her sadness and her anger and her hatred, all split off into their own individual shadows, then each individual one can manifest as its own persona. Sack, you're assuming personas work the same for normal people and ghosts. I mean... I, I was, but we were also working under the assumption that she's not a ghost, she's a rumor. Which would make her a demon. Which would make her at least tangentially related to a shadow. The Alice rumor started going around about the same time that Mr. Kirizaki started getting all this attention. At least, so I heard. Yeah, so she probably is created a rumor. You're probably right about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Th thinking about how this works will give anyone a headache. <laughs> Although, actually, that's interesting. Because, um... If Personas... I like Miss Turakiri. She seems innocent and shy. It's hard to find a woman like her these days. If it... Working under the same logic. Is someone throwing a party on 2F? Sounds pretty ratty over there. Oh, 2F. If multiple aspects of a character's personality are used to manifest multiple personas, then since... Since, like, wildcard users are considered to have, like, a, like, being able to, like, tap into the collective unconscious and, like, pull from the Sea of Souls, then I wonder if... What a wildcard user can really do is they have the ability to tap into more portions of their personality. Like, uh, characters in Persona 5, for example, uh, usually manifest their, like, rebellious spirit. And characters in... We're just gonna go with Persona 5, because I literally forget what the others are. But, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, um, uh, Persona 4... It's the characters manifesting their repressed desires. And, and then Persona 3, it's something, something death. I don't remember. <laughs> something, something death. Uh, so I, I wonder if wildcard users are just characters that are manifesting other aspects of their personality. Oh, my beloved Miss Torikiri. If only you told me, I'd have taken your sister's place. Sounds like someone's making a ruckus over in 2-3. I don't understand what goes on in there. The lock on the door has been broken. Let's go in, Chin-Yan. We're going in. Oh my god! That perfectly explains why everyone in Persona 1 and 2 are wildcard users, because they acquire their personas through the Persona game, which acts as a way of, like, initiating the Persona contracts, right? So they're capable of switching personas because they can use different aspects of their personality, because they were never tied to a specific aspect of their personality, uh, activating a specific persona. And that's why when specific aspects of your personality become tied to how you use your personas through evokers and personas 4 methods and uh, uh, rebellious spirit and persona 5, that the characters aren't able to change the personas because they're activated by certain aspects of the personality rather than being at, like activating their personality as a whole as the, used through the persona game. <sighs> Checkmate, Persona. I think I figured out how you work. <laughs> it only took like five games. <laughs> Rose. You guys. Kiriyazaki and his students are all obsessed with their cell phones. Wake up, you guys. Ambrosia isn't a real website. There's a terrible secret behind it. You're the ones who need to... That wasn't your voice. I don't give a fuck. You're the ones who need to wake up. Ambrosia shows us the way to do anything we want. All you have to do is follow the directions on the screen, and you can become the person you always dreamed you could be. Even a monkey would understand how wonderful this is. Oh, I can't look away. 
Sensei, they're just too stupid to get it. I mean, we already offered to let them join once, and they turned us down. What are you saying? That's also why certain characters, uh, specifically in 1 and 2, where, they, where they're all wild cards, they have certain affinities towards... Uh, um, certain persona, like they can use any persona, but they have affinities towards other personas because if they use a persona they don't have an affinity to, it's because they're trying to manifest a portion of their personality that's a lot weaker than the others. Vice versa, like, yeah, but vice versa, if they're, if they have a good affinity towards it, uh, it's because they're manifesting a stronger portion of the personality. Probably. Honestly, it's fucking nonsense, and I'm just trying to make- I'm trying to shove a fucking square peg in a round hole. What are you saying? As class president, I propose that we give them the death penalty. Laughter. Seconded, I'm sick of all these disruptions in our class, laughter. Agreed. Why don't- we don't need them bothering us anymore. Laughter. Ah, yeah. Such beautiful teamwork. 2-3 is a wonderful group of students. Alright, I'm going to work extra hard for you. Akari, I know that part of you is here. Please stop. Let's... Let's rest peacefully and forever. Rose? There's no answer from Akari's other half. Alright, Homer is over. You dirty rats of journalism. You, you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. This chime is your death... Knell? Knell. I don't actually know that word. You can start class by writing your wills in those notebooks of yours. Laughter. Well, I'm gonna look that up while I hit auto to kill them. Oh my god, is it just Pyrojack? Oh my god. Knell. The sound of a bell, especially when rung solemnly for a death or funeral. Oh, it's just Nell, the Chaos Island. I've never heard that word before. Synonyms, toxin. An alarm, bell, or signal. Oh, it's an archaic word. That would explain why I've never fucking heard it in my life. Gah, 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 gah. My body, it's burning. Wah! It's so hot. Ah! So hot! What the? Everyone all at once? Pretty creepy. Hey, where'd that Kiriyazaki go? Ah! Uh, what? M my face! I. Ah! Kiriyazaki looks a completely different person. What? That dude's Kiriyazaki. No! Ah, no! I can't be naked like this! The other students are all different, too. Honestly, dude, you don't look that bad. You, on the other hand, have definitely had a downgrade. The students' appearances have changed. Ah. All right, everybody. I don't know what's going on, but Michelle and friends are here to save the day. Thank us. Man, he was useless. What a pain. What? The students began complaining about Kiriyazaki. You're worthless. Aren't you our teacher? You're supposed to protect us. We all made you into this wonderful, charismatic teacher, and you wasted it. What a piece of garbage. It was the students that were in control? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Laughter. Laughter. What? The other Akari isn't gone yet. She's still a parasite in these people's hearts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A female teacher enters the classroom. What is all this noise? What are you doing in here? Can we use her next? Laughter. Then we can go back to our ideal selves, laughter. The students started furiously typing on their cell phones. Yeah, it's way past the end of class hours. If Mr. Kirizaki isn't here, you kids should... what? Ah! Ow! It burns! Well, 
laughter. Th that teacher. They turned her into Kiriyazaki? And everyone in class looks like uh, the way they did before. The male students turn into their ideal selves. The female students turn into their ideal selves. Hmm. How far did we get in this lesson? I am Kiriyazaki. This lesson on death appears to be over. You're the ideal teacher. We're counting on you this time, Laughter. Come on, ideal teacher. You can do it, Laughter. Yes, I am the teacher that you all desire. I will do anything to protect my class. Laughter. Shin Yan, Kiriyazaki's attacking again. You want some? Yeah, but nobody cares because I'm just going to splat him. The female teacher and the students all return to their true selves. Hey, what? Son of a bitch! Teachers these days are useless! Yeah, we have to do something about Akari's anger or this will never end. Hey, whisper, whisper. Is this really bad? Shouldn't we back out now, whisper? It. I like how Umiko's still hot. <laughs> it doesn't seem like we have any chance of winning. It's okay. Oh. That voice. It's our best friend in the world, Akari Laughter. If we all work together, we can remake our ideal classroom as many times as we need. My ideal classroom. Ugh. This resonance just now, it's like a million times worse than the Parasite Personas. Akari. Akari's cell, uh, voice comes from all the students' cell phones at once. When spring break ended... Uh, you mean all fucking three of them? When spring break ended, I would only be bullied again. That's why I killed myself to escape this world of pain. Akari's voice echoes in the classroom. Akari. I escaped, but the pain never ended. I died because I thought I'd be free of it. But this horrible spring break never ends. This is so much worse than when I was alive. And since I can't escape, I'll create a place without pain. My ideal classroom, with my ideal teacher, and my ideal friends. There's no other escape but my, into my ideal life, laughter. My phone screen is glowing. Mine too. Akari's coming to play with us, laughter. She's gonna come out of the screen, laughter. The cell phones all flash brilliantly for an instant. I am, I am, I am, Torakiri, Akari Torakiri, or I was, laughter. I bloom on shores and consume those who pick me. I am Persephone, Madam of Hades. That's actually a really cool fucking title. <laughs> I wouldn't describe Persephone as that, but sure. I will crush your skulls and feast on the pomegranate-like flesh within. Laughter. Akari. It's time. This theme is so fucking good. Oh my god. Oh, poor baby child is weak to fucking water. Oh, and fire. Oh, no. This is gonna be a massacre.
worth my time. Rose rushes to Akari to Rikiri's side. Akari, are you okay? Damn, what a sad demon. I don't even want to kill it. Huh? Was I asleep? I feel like I just woke up from a long, long dream. Huh, this is a classroom. Are we in school? What was I doing? I can't remember. My head hurts. Huh. Ah! Monster! There's a monster here. Huh? Wah! Gah! Ugh! I'm so sad. I'm so angry. I'm so frustrated. What is that thing? Ah! Ah! Oh my god, I'm freaking out. I... I'm class president. I have to bring order. Nope. I can't move. Uh, well, it's a good thing that they're all freed from Akari's power, but, uh... Monster! Monster! Wah! Everyone stop being afraid of Akari! Ugh, I'm so sad, so angry, so filled with regret. I wish I had friends who understood how I feel. I wish I had a teacher I could trust. Laughter. Do we, do we have to fight her again? Rose grabs Akari and hugs her. Akari's fighting really hard. Even though half of her is being used as ambrosia, the other half of her is fighting as hard as she can. Mm-hmm. Akari didn't want to be a ghost. She wanted to rest quietly. But everyone talks about dead people, saying she must have had a lot of anger, or of course she's going to haunt the school now. But the only thing the dead want is peace. That woman disturbed her rest because of her own greed. She turned her own feelings into a parasite of Akari's spirit just to get her revenge. Huh? What woman? Akari's uh, right side howls in pain. Stop, Musubu. Sister. Stop. Akari's left side howls in rage. Laughter. I won't let this be forgotten. Akari's two halves continue fighting each other. Stop. Stop offering me daffodils or else I'll never die. Laughter. Akari, you hate everyone. You have to. A lot of laughter. So Miss Torikiri is the one who grew Akari's hatred and used it to make 2, 3 an ideal class. Yes. Musubu made Akari into a ghost against her will, and now she's in great pain. How awful. Rose, stay with Akari. We'll take care of Miss Torikiri. Sister. The party ran to the courtyard and felt a persona resonance. There she is. She's by the daffodils. The resonance is kind of weak. Akari's done for. Damn it, I can't let anyone get in the way. Musubu desperately begins pressing keys on her cell phone. Damn it, the persona. My parasite. I can't concentrate. Akari, she hated the school. I know it. She can't rest in peace. I can't trust the school and the damn police with their sloppy investigations. The world's forgetting my sister's death. How can I trust it? We have to stop, Miss Torikiri. Lisa, wait. Minato approaches Musubu. Torkiri, are you still offering her daffodils? Today, you need to listen to what I have to say without running away. It's been 12 years. Over a decade uh, has passed since she died. You've always been a kind person. I was a teacher once, so, you, so I should know. But you're obsessed with Akari. It's not good for your mind, body, or soul. You're losing your future and worshipping the past. Worst of all, I know that Akari will never rest as long as you grieve for her like this. Shut up, shut up, shut up! You're an outsider, what do you know about our pain? Musubu continues typing on her phone. Minato slaps the cell phone out of Musubu's hands. Of course I don't understand. We're human beings. We can't understand anything unless we communicate. If we don't discuss things, we fall prey to assumptions and misunderstandings, and nobody agrees on anything. It's like sharpening a knife to hurt other people who've been in your heart all along. I know you're hurting, Turakiri. You've been hurting for a long time. Why didn't you talk to me about it? Why have you been fighting it all by yourself? Come on, let's talk. 
Stop pretending that you've got it all together. You're my student, and no matter how much time passes, you'll always be my Kohai. You should depend on me all you can. Cause me trouble. Give me your complaints, your anger, your frustration. Even if you're blowing off steam, I'll take it all. That's what being a teacher is. Share your grief with me. You are not alone. Akari. A A Akari. Akari. Sob. Why? Why didn't you talk to me about being bullied in school? If only you'd said something, I could've... I would've. Ah, Sob. You were always too kind. That can be both good and bad. Hey, that stiff-necked guy's pretty cool, even if he did steal our show. Miss Tori Carey was pretty stupid. She had such a great teacher with her the whole time. A bit later. He's a good teacher. Huh? Mr. Minato. Yes. Man, teachers are crazy awesome. He completely destroyed the main parasite persona just by talking. <laughs> what if every persona game was just finished by the characters having a fucking discussion? It's the ending of Persona 4. It's just fucking. Nah, you're playing stupid, let me tell you why. <laughs> I, Akar Akari's suicide is what made me want to become a teacher. I didn't want any more students to suffer like Akari did. I wanted to change the face of education in Japan. But reality is harsh. Nothing I did succeeded in changing anything. My ambitions turned to getting revenge. So you created Ambrosia? Yes. I put up a little social network in the school because I thought it would help me communicate with my students better. But all I did with it was make stupid jokes and complain and other negative things. Looking back, maybe they needed to do that first in order to break the ice on using a new medium, but I couldn't accept it then. I lost all hope in education and used Akari's spirit. I used her to escape from reality. That sure is pretty daffodil. Yeah, even if it isn't the right season for it. Daffodils are supposed to bloom in spring. She never saw the end of that spring, so I thought it would be nice. It's really dusty here. My eyes hurt. Nice try. I guess Musubu's bad persona is gone. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Rose! Thanks, guys. Akari's okay now. The Akari created by Ambrosia is gone, and the real Akari is resting peacefully. You took away my mission, but got it done, so I don't care. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, who are you talking to? <laughs> Very funny lady. It's Rose, a student here. She's... H hey, she's gone. The spirit of a pig appears floating in the air. Man, if you didn't get that fucking... If you didn't talk to every student, this has got to be the most confusing fucking plot twist. Everyone... Thank you so much for saving Akari. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. The pig speaks in Rose's voice. G g g ghost pig. Wait, so you're Rose? Uh, yeah. Yes, I was the class pet that Akari spent so much effort to care for. I was worried about her, so I came out to wander around too. Mm-hmm. I'm already dead. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You said before that you killed Akari. What did you mean? Wait a minute, this does... But, okay, so if Akari was created by the rumor of Akari that was being piggybacked off of the fucking persona of Musubu, then this means that... But but Rose wasn't a rumor, which means that... Ghosts are real. This is a weird game. <laughs> you said before that Akari... What did you mean? Ah, uh, just remembering that makes me angry with myself. I'm the one who made Akari commit suicide, mm-hmm. The day before she did it, Akari came to me to pet my tummy like she always did. She seemed really sad and she was talking to me about something, but I didn't let her pet me. I mean, it was time for my meal. And when I didn't let her pet me, she left my pen looking even sadder than when she came in. And then she... she... If only I'd let her pet me. If only I'd understood any of what she was talking about. Squee, squank. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
That's why I made it my mission to save Akari. Oh, so you wanted to save her bacon. How dare you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> You're really kind for a pig. Huh? Really? I hear that a lot over on the other side. Uh, there is another side? Okay. Don't worry. Akari's tragedy wasn't your fault. Really? I can believe you? Squee! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Huh. She's as happy as a pig in a... Uh, well, uh, don't get all worked up over it. Wait. We are a girl pig or a boy pig? I'm 100% boar. Then why do you turn yourself into a girl and call yourself Rose? Squee? That's what Akari looked like. Hee <laughs> hee, I liked her so much. That's what Akari looked like? Wh what? That's what Akari looked like? W wow, she was hot. <laughs> I wish I'd met her when she was still alive. Well then, everyone. Akari's calling me, so I have to go back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Apparently pig heaven and people heaven is the same heaven. Good to know. Go back where? Back to where all the dead go. Oh, Duh. Well, uh, take care. Uh, though that's kind of a weird thing to say, too. Thank you, everyone. I'm off to cuddle with the car. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I want to hear more about this Persona Afterlife. Good job with the interview, everybody. Nice work. This is the lowest fucking... <laughs> resolution image in the game, and the characters aren't even in this building. Yeah, I'm gonna eat so much... Just assistance, my ass. You treated us like slaves. That was not your real voice. Ho oh, ho! Well, it's all thanks to you guys that Akari was able to spend her spring break, so don't worry about it. Still, it ended up so suddenly. If only Miss Turakiri had talked to Mr. Minato at the beginning, this wouldn't have happened. Well, people with a lot of problems stop being able to see everything around them. They don't realize that their actions only make things worse for them when they sink lower and lower until they can't get out. I mean, huge crimes like you see on TV are often caused by something that's pretty dumb. By the way, Maya-san, what are you going to do about your charismatic teacher article? I mean, Mr. Kiriyazaki didn't really exist, so you can't write about him. Mr. Kiriyazaki was a fake, but we did see a real charismatic teacher. Gah? A teacher who's able to change the life of a student who'd already graduated with the power of his dedication. Oh! Well, I'm buying today. Eat positive, guys. Yes, I've been waiting for this. Waitress, I'd like a pork belly ramen. Oh my god, pork belly. I wonder if Rose made it back to the other world. Ho show nah. Uh never never mind, waitress. Uh I just I want plain noodle soup instead. <laughs> Did you get that? Title Thoughts on the Educational Field. It seems that at some point in your life. Life suddenly expects you to be and act like an adult. You may think of this as misfortune. However, you do not need to carry this burden by yourself. That's because... Because you can depend on adults. They made that transition to adulthood before you did, and they know how to deal with tragedy. So if your life is touched by tragedy, you can speak to an adult about it. Adults always want to help you if they can. They're trying to pay back the next generation for the same thing that was done for them back when they were children themselves. Interview and article by Maya Amano and Trusted Assistants. And done. Time to celebrate. Where's my bottle opener? Ha <laughs> ha, laughter. And cut. Good job. Let me add your points to your account. I'll be waiting for your return. What points? You'd like to learn about ranking system, black raspberry, white glove, bronze man, silver palm, golden bear, and our highest standard platinum line. In order to raise your member rank, you need to watch films all the way through to the end. Raise your rank as high as you can. You won't earn any money or items, but it's fun. What do you have playing for me? Persona Thief is next. Persona Thief max enemy level 6. 70. I feel like we're gonna fucking splatter. But we'll try it next time.
In the meantime, we're gonna go to Conan to heal ourselves. Also, if we die immediately next time, then if anything, that just means that we can get to the main story quicker. Did we win? No, we didn't. <laughs> God, I want to play fucking Dishonored for some reason. I might install Dishonored and just fuck around with it a little bit. I don't even know what demon rumors are. Alright, see you later, Tomaki! Where exactly are we supposed to go? Katsutsuri? Whoa, what the hell was that? A whole army of guys? The spears just went flying by. I didn't know the last battalion had guys like that. Why does anyone know anything about the last battalion? Alright, saving the game. Alright, so we've made zero progress, but we have finished an okay side quest. I mean, obviously the gameplay was fucking terrible, but the side quest itself was decent enough. Um, let's see, probably be back Thursday. Again, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like rearrange the schedule, so I probably won't stream tomorrow. So... Probably going to be a Tuesday, Wednesday gap. Uh, then we'll be back Thursday, Friday. And then at the least next Monday. Um, probably, th this is just what I'm looking at now. Nothing set in stone. But I'm thinking Saturday, Sunday going to be uh, uh, bonus days. But we'll see We'll see how the cookie crumbles. Um, so there will be like a definitive two-day gap. But uh, anyway, hope you all had fun. Uh... I liked the ending, that was a little... The dungeon sucked, but the ending of the story was okay, and it adds a lot of a lot of depth to the Persona system. I figured out how Personas work. Hey, Kato! I didn't even know you were in chat! Hey! Hello and goodbye! <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, thanks for stopping by, everyone. Hope you had fun. Uh, I've been uh, Sacrivolic, your Envoy of Despair, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.